listening to the Jay and Dan podcast. Ho, 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 ho. Actually, yeah, uh, I guess this is after Christmas, so. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't Sorry. make a lot of sense. Hey, you, it's the, you blew it. it. It's the first ever uh, Jay and Dan best of, um, because of uh, the holidays, and no one wants to come and record our podcast. We're doing a best of. Yeah. Well, I think it's good because we don't want to be at work over the holidays either, do we? I'm here already. Yeah, I guess I am too. What am I saying? We never really leave this place. What a year it's been. Uh, oh, we've only been doing the podcast for three months. But it has been a great year. Um, so many things have happened to us. We went to the Olympics. Uh, Toronto Life did a nice profile of us. Um, we almost got fired several times. We did? Oh, I didn't tell you. Uh, yeah. There was the, the fart incident. Yeah, you farted. Around uh, the boss's wife. You, you let one go. You're a little silent, but The violent. investigation is still open. All right, we'll, we'll go with that. So what happens on a, I, I know best of albums, like everyone has a, a best of uh, sticks. Sure. A best of anvil. Yeah. Well, some of our best sound bites uh, include, oh. yeah. why not, eh? Remember that one, Tulsi? I do remember why not, eh? So a lot of people maybe are not joining us from the very beginning, so they, they hear the, why not, eh? I think that's a pretty good impression. That was terrible. So uh, let's let's try explain that. Uh, another soundbite that we we use often is the mm-hmm, yeah, and um, that I'm... one's uh, that one's explained in the. Uh, is that going to be explained in the best of? No, I think we explain it. Oh, don't we? <laughs> well, uh, hopefully this is all making sense. And the man, the myth, the horse. I know the no, no. It's a magical encounter <laughs> between human and horse. I remember that highlight pack. That's when we had baseball highlights. Yeah, that's right. So uh, take a listen to these uh, these sound bites, and uh, you'll you'll finally understand how they came to be, and maybe you'll want to listen to more podcasts. She reports from all these stops. She was in Edmonton on this particular stop, and uh, she was reporting on a couple that had painted their house in Edmonton Eskimo colors. Take a listen to this. Well, number one, the house needed a paint job. It's like 100-something years old. We had a chance to pick up this green and gold paint. Uh, pretty reasonable, so we said, why not, eh? For the Eskimos. <laughs> okay. We need to we need to play that again. And what I, I want you to play that again. And then afterward, Dan had an Everton English Premier League soccer highlight pack. I want you to listen to Dan... Trying his very best. Well, this is the first time laugh. I'd I'd ever seen it. I'd ever heard of it, and so it just it, it was incredible. I loved his reaction to this. So listen again. Afterward, you'll hear Dan trying to stifle a laugh. Well, number one, the house needed a paint job. It's like a hundred and something years old. We had a chance to pick up this green and gold paint. Uh, pretty reasonable. So, so why not, eh? For the Eskimos. <laughs> Why not, eh? Why not, eh? <laughs> These are Everton highlights, by the way. Everton, Newcastle. Oh. Uh, okay, there was an offside. That one uh, was the crossbar. Goals and award. The ball clearly crossed the line, though. Play carries on. Why not, eh? Is that the ball? That's scores. Everton has the lead. Moments later, ball deflects to Dembaba. Dem Baba. <laughs> oh man. Why not, eh? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> got me so up. I literally well you saw me. You were on the set with me. I I, don't I the the one of the most fun times we have on the show is when that kind of thing happens because I can see the seeds of it happening before it happens. I when when we're watching that CFL train story and I look over at you and you are barely keeping it together, I knew that you're not going to be able to get it together for the highlights that follow it. So the thing is, if you watch the show, our uh, Sports Center show at 1 a.m. when it's live, you see that stuff because right. that got cut out of the show for the loop. 
That's well, and that's just it. You know, some we don't we don't want to offend anyone. I thought it was great. A couple of things I loved. The fact that the couple said they got a good deal on the paint. That was the main reason that they painted it in their team's colors. Had they got a, a deal on Stampeder's paint colors, maybe they would have painted it red and silver. Oh, now before, wait, before we move on, though. Oh. I, I know you want to move on. But wait, I, I ha we have to talk about this Aaron Rodgers clip. So Aaron Rodgers was talking about what happened in that Monday Nighter. And uh, there's a reporter who chimed in with a, mm-hmm, take a listen to this. The games are getting out of control. I'm, I'm okay with replacement refs as long as they don't have a direct impact on the game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, last <laughs> night, um, there was a direct impact on the I game. I want to hear that entire interview. Can <laughs> we hear that one more time, Christoph? Because I just, mm hmm. The games are getting out of control. I'm, I'm okay with replacement refs as long as they don't have a direct impact on the game. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, here's my next question. Tell me more, Aaron. He sounded like Fozzie Bear. <laughs> he sounded like Fozzie. Say, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the theater. At the stage door, I passed a bunch of Muppet fans, and suddenly I hear... Good grief, the comedian's a bear. <laughs> no, he's a nut. He's a wearer in the neck of time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Was that the old Fozzie or the new Fozzie? You've made a pretty big point about the fact that you don't like the new voices of the Muppets. I actually saw the new Muppet movie. It wasn't that bad. It was good. Yeah. Jason Siegel wrote it. I enjoyed it. So could, tell could us you, about your week, Dan. Could you tone back on the singing a little? <laughs> That's every movie they always sang. Like, I, we just don't remember that as kids. Could, could you tone it down? It, they, it was always a singing movie. Every movie they did, they would sing. I don't know why you specifically thought about Tijuana. The first thing I thought of when I when I saw what was written in my script. First, we're going to hear uh, the entire highlight pack narrated by Dan. Give this a listen. Cavilia night in San Diego. Cavilia is a magical encounter between human and horse. That same show is on in Tijuana, I think. Oh. LA now four games back to St. Louis for the second wild card spot. People have sex with horses in Tijuana. Is that what you meant? Top right, Dodgers down to AJ Ellis, double to the gap in right center. Luis Cruz scores, cuts the lead to one. Watching this show live at 1 a.m., you'll see a different version on the morning loop. What? Yeah, exactly. What? In fact, producer Tim told us afterward that as soon as you mentioned the Tijuana joke after the Cavalia joke, uh, it was already decided that we were going to redo that highlight pack for the morning loop. Before I even said, explain that people have sex with horses in Tijuana. Sam, grow a set! Yeah. Grow a set of nuts next to your golden taint. I, I've heard stories about Tijuana. I'm sure everyone has. Well, my best friend's uh, wife is from Tijuana, and she's not a horse. Uh, she's a beautiful <laughs> woman. Uh, her name's Josie. Lovely girl. And she'd be offended that you brought that up. Dan, frankly. I'm so, never going to meet this woman, ever. Oh, well, you might. And she'll probably be pretty upset with you. Uh, can, can we hear the shorter version of the Tijuana horse clip? Cavilia night in San Diego. Cavilia is a magical encounter between human and horse. That same show is on in Tijuana, I think. Oh. LA now four games back to St. Louis for the second wild card spot. People have sex with horses in Tijuana. Is that what you meant? Is that what you meant? Hey, I, I don't know. A magical encounter between human and horse. I was just letting people's minds fill in the blank. Yeah, take it wherever they wanted to take it. So that was a fun moment on the show this week, and that's why we encourage you to watch the show live. Wow, that was thoroughly entertaining. I enjoyed it. We, we are uh, recording this and not hearing anything that else uh, has to do with it, so we're just hoping that Did everything... Did you say that else has to do with it? <laughs> I'm standing up while talking. Well, I don't usually. You can't stand and talk. <laughs> oh man! Wait a minute. You want to have a conversation? Let me have a seat. Yeah, I gotta sit down <laughs> if I gotta talk to you. Well, I'm gonna keep standing. All right, I'll just talk to your navel. I'll just speak to your. Whoa. Um. Okay, we've got some uh, some popular segments that occurred on the podcast over the last year, Dan. Uh, first of all. Uh, you took a, early on, you were like, oh, I'm not going to hang around here. I'm going to take a vacation. So you went to Cuba, and uh, Rod Smith sat in on the podcast. Man, he nailed it. He did an awesome job. Uh, he was great. 
so we have a little bit of that. And uh, it also uh, featured uh, everything from uh, Cuban porn, which you witnessed at your, uh, at your resort in, uh, in Cuba, to uh, Rod reading Justin Bieber tweets. That, that's my highlight. And it's voted as the fan's choice for favorite episode of the year. I don't know where this voting took place. I think it's on our uh, on our Twitter account, at JNDanTSN, which you can follow at any time. That's pretty cool. So let's have a listen while Rod sat in my chair and I sat on a lounger in Cuba. Rod Smith, everybody, from Sports Center. Rod, thanks for joining us on the podcast. Hey, it's my it's my pleasure, Jay, Dan, and I'm glad you could still be with us, Dan. And, and, and before I address that, I'm just wondering, you guys have got a great thing started here. This is, what, week four? Yeah, week four. Forward. And, and you, your co-host is on vacation in Cuba. I mean, what's up with this? You, you, it's beautiful. The why, standards why, are so low, Rod. Why, why didn't you take off week two? It's <laughs> a great question. We, we stress, we stress <laughs> the on vacation in Cuba. It's about the same price to go to North Ottawa. <laughs> well, and not only that, we didn't think we'd make it to episode four. Oh, I see. Okay. We thought we'd be canceled after. Well, three. there's confidence from your partner, isn't it? Oh yeah. This thing's oh, yeah. only going to last three weeks, so sure. So I'm, like, bu- I'm booked. Yeah, I'm booking my vacation. <laughs> For the fourth week, we know we're not going to be continuing on. Guys, wait one sec. What? Oh, there he is. So hey. I'm just finishing my drink. Oh, there you go. Right. What do you have in a Mai Tai? Uh, a virgin pina colada. What? Yeah. Wow, you're really going a all vir- out A virgin there, pina colada. Wow. A virgin <laughs> pina colada? What yeah. is wrong with you? Are you driving from the resort Keep in somewhere? Mind, the smoke truck just came by. Oh, okay. see, so I'm you're flying higher than a kite. Oh, you're already high. Yeah. So between that spray that they're shooting into the woods, did you say? And, and so you, you don't need anything but virgin drinks, do you? No, um, I, I do have to be on the lookout though. Since I've been here, I might have to check the new releases in the porno section because I believe I saw the introduction or the starting uh, the, the setup. Uh, for a porn shot next to me and my family oh. in the pool. Really? Why not, eh? Yeah, why not? Well, that sounds horrible. There was uh, some uh, mischievous crawling towards the camera and then rolling in the water. And then the guy behind the camera, some old dude, was directing her, no, no, behind the tree. And then I'm here with my daughter, who's four and a half. My other daughter's one and a half and uh, our niece, who's six. They started crawling exactly like the actress in the water. Oh, yeah. So so, so this is a family establishment you're at? <laughs> Dan, Hedonism 3 is not a family resort. I don't know what about the brochure you misconstrued, but it's not for families. <laughs> but they said the food was good. Oh, very good. Well, your kids are hanging around in North Oshawa anyway, so it can't be any worse than that. Oh, yeah, that was, that's been the highlight of our trip so far. Uh, so, I, How's the I food? I don't know what the, How's the, the food, title Dad? of that pornography movie will be, but uh, keep <laughs> ecstasy in Cuba. Did you bring your three jars of Nutella? No. Uh, we got Kraft peanut butter. It's a staple on the, uh, the Cuba trip. We have needed that. Yeah. My uh, neighbor Brent gave me a bunch of uh, spices uh, in a bag. I put that on all my food. Yeah, so, spices. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Like the, the spice part, peanut. Can you get peanut butter in Cuba? Can you yeah. not? Can you, you can, yeah. but it's not like the no name peanut butter. Right, right. You only you only take the best peanut butter, and then spices. Is that drugs? You smuggle drugs down there? <laughs> no, they've oh. got no spices. The, the biggest oh. uh, spice is uh, pepper. So oh. I actually gave our waitress. Uh, she's. That's what was the bag I was carrying. I said, here, have some. It almost blew her head off. Oh. It's, what? A, it's a spicy meatball. What, did you, uh, have you met any Canadians down there, Dan? Tons of Canadians. Yeah. Lots of uh, uh, people from uh, Montreal. A lot of people from Toronto. Mm-hmm. Uh, I play volleyball every day with my new friend, uh, Michael. Jay, you might remember, you did a um, home run derby a few years ago, a green and gold classic in Richmond Hill, Ontario. I remember it well. And I did it the year after. Michael's teammate was in the home run derby, which I uh, emceed the year after you. So it's a small world. Um, now, when you're playing volleyball with Michael, is it like the uh, scene from Top Gun where Maverick and Goose are playing volleyball in their <laughs> jeans, all oiled up? <laughs> playing, I make sure I'm greased down. Playing with the boys. Yeah, and uh, Tom Cruise has like the a four-foot vertical. Here, though, is, uh, Aside from uh, from Cuban music, is um, I don't know if it's the the national 
theme song of Cuba, The Careless Whisper. I oh. hear 30 times a day. The yeah. band plays it because they all like the sax solo. Oh. It's on the PA system oh. five times a day. Oh. This Cuban band is going to play it at some point, I know. George Michael's getting um, serious so we royalties. Have to check the origins of Careless Whisper in Cuba. Well, it's probably they're probably playing it for the... Yeah. It is a good tune, though. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Perfect for Cuba. Possibly yeah. have that queued up. Hey, listen, we're ready for you, buddy. <laughs> that was good. Someone's doing their homework, that's for sure. So, uh, t- tell me, what do you what do you do? Like, do you just lounge by the pool? Like, what do you what, in what your do you... jeans? Um, I I ensure the two children I brought um, arrived alive and leave alive, and then that's that's essentially my 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 main job. Um. Now, Kate Burness is on a bit of a road trip, uh, and we were we were asking her if there's going to be a lot of angry sex on the road trip. You know, and has there been any angry sex in Cuba, Dad? Where is Kate gone? She went to see a couple of college football games with her fiance. She's like the coolest chick so, ever. Now, why are you implying there's going to be angry sex? Well, I'm just thinking that you know, in general, uh, there's nothing like angry sex on vacation, right, Christoph? Clear mesh, because that would be that's good. We're not going. We're not going. That's good. Angry sex music. Angry sex. Oh my god. Angry sex. I am leaving. It's on. Sorry, that was from a radio show I did this week, Dan. You know what? I'm checking. What the hell just happened? I don't know, but I'm checking my rundown when he asked me to fill in for you, (laughs) and I just don't see. I I see the Cuba trivia questions that we'll be hitting you with, but I just. I missed angry sex. Angry sex is under uh, audio on the right. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So better than a road. You trip. know what? I should have been better prepared. Well, not even that. But uh, you know, there's more. <laughs> ang- there's more angry sex to talk about, right, Kristoff? You know what is even better than going on a road trip? What's that? Angry sex. <laughs> angry sex. Boy, that music was getting scary. Maybe we should go back to Careless Whisper. That seems more soothing and mellow. We have a conversation, Rod, we had about you. I don't know, did we have it on SportsCenter on the radio, how we said Rod could narrate people's dreams. Well, and wouldn't that be unreal? Speaking of that, that, speaking of that, Rod, I just want you to read two tweets here. Um, <laughs> these are two Justin Bieber tweets. Mm-hmm. So I've got them here. They're the, they're the ones in capital letters. Do you think you could read those <laughs> okay, in a serious n- fashion? Nothing profane, though. Eh? But no, no, Justin those Bieber, are clean. Though, yeah, this okay. is Justin Bieber. Here we go. Okay. And thank you, by the way, Dan. As long as the dream is clean, right? Um, well, okay, here. Justin Bieber, okay, here we go. This is what I do it for. The music and the fans. My believers. That's what matters. Our album. Our tour. Our music, our memories, love you. Okay, there's one. Uh, then, Wait, okay, the way you said believers, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> my kids that will have fun unreal. with that. That'll, my kids would have fun with this. What'd you do tonight? I was reading Justin Bieber tweets. I'd like to get my daughter's reaction on that. Uh, here we go. Let's see. I love being on tour. I love seeing all the fans. I love performing and sharing the music with them. I love music. I'm happy. <laughs> Rod, how are you not voicing movie trailers? Oh, that'd be cool. I'd love that. That what you? I like fantastic. Don Laugh. Oh, thank you, boy. That'd be. And they make a pile of dough too. Remember yeah. Don Lafontaine? He was. He was. He's yeah. dead. Now. He's dead now. He was. He, he had this set up in L.A. He had this. His own studio. studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he was the one. Well, they all kind of sound like that now. Like, he lives in a world. <laughs> in a world. Yeah. yeah so actually, no, Don LaFontaine was the one who always started. In a world. Yeah. I mean, that, you're right. That <clears throat> seems like the greatest gig ever. And yeah. you've got the pipes for it. In a world of profane podcasts, <laughs> on right and O'Toole, <laughs> we're a cut above. Don't think we're not going to on use that, night, by the way. <laughs> on the night I lost my job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're always welcome here, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Does it pay? Actually, that's the funny thing. Now that we've gotten to the end of the podcast. Once I'm out on the street, can I get, like, 
just one Mark's perfectly pressed shirt, like just we can get you a Mark's perfectly pressed shirt, and I think we can get you a room in that dorm that your son is staying in at Western. <laughs> a spot on the floor. He won't he be thrilled? Oh but, yeah. boy! Yeah. Then the, then the Smith boys will be hanging out on camera. On right in uh, studio. On uh, right in studio. Don't interrupt me. On right in studio. O'Toole in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> this is the makings of something weird. We gotta come up with a title of it, eh? Yeah. It's just oh. one big bucket of. <laughs> oh, shit. So, do you edit this out? Oh, okay, cool. No. But you can do it. It's a it's... podcast. Okay, yeah, no. Three people. Come with the time. Let's see. Podcast in Cuba airs weekly. You could just stay. Well, if you can't get out of the country, that's what you just change the name of your podcast. Yeah, Dan, are you sure you're going to be able to return to Canada yet? Uh, we're you might not want to. For funds as we speak. I will say this: having Rod here has been pretty awesome. Hey, when, when, hey. No, seriously, guys, when do we start? I mean, I think this There's is a... something we could keep going. I mean, now that I mean, again, it's a week to week thing with as, this as, podcast. As long as as long as my bosses don't hear any of this, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they they don't listen. <laughs> have you, have no. you guys? Well, the one with Aaron Ward last week. Did yeah. you get Did you get any feedback on that? You know what? It's it's no. funny because I haven't heard from Mark Millier, our boss, once about it. Um, but Stuart Johnson, uh, as I said, the president of TSN, Stuart Johnston, did say that he could do with a little less talk about me taking dumps. Why not, eh? <laughs> and with that in mind? And I, and I believe if any of our bosses do listen to this one, their first question will be, wait, Dan was on the phone from Cuba for that long? How much did that cost? That's right. <laughs> oh, that was a good time, wasn't it? Rod's voice, seriously. Yeah, it's rich and warm. It just you, surrounds I, you like a like a snuggie. You want it to hug you if a voice could hug you. Imagine how low his b hang. No? It's the best of. I oh. thought we, we'd keep it clean. You've already mentioned twice now. I messed it up. No, you said b hang the other time. Well, same thing. Uh, our favorite guest moments, Dan. Uh... First week of the podcast, uh, our first guests were the Sklar brothers. I mean, you, it, you, almost like, how do you top that after the first one? Those guys are incredible. Sklar brothers. And we did mention when they were on that they uh, made an appearance on Entourage. They, uh, yes. They were twin agents out to, to, I don't know, were they out to ruin each other? I don't even remember. I, I remember them being it. on it. I think they were working for Ari on it. Well, um, either way. Uh, they were hilarious. Funny. And then, uh, Jerry D., you mentioned him earlier, uh, one of our favorites. Uh, we're such fans and good friends of Jerry, um, and he was a great guest. And then Aaron Ward, who we've got a segment on the podcast. If you're just listening for the first time, it's called Wardo's Weird Wide Web, where Wardo finds weird stuff on the World Wide Web. And uh, he's got a lot of time on his hands, Toolsy. He's, uh, the, the NHL lockout has meant Wardo is just sitting around twiddling his thumbs and playing with his n***. And... He's the one who directed us towards butt chugging. Jason and Randy Sklar, how are you? Uh, we are good. So, guys, uh, down in the States, you guys solved your uh, your officiating problem in the NFL. We have our uh, NHL lockout still ongoing. Does anyone I mean, in the United States know this? Yeah, 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 and, I mean, we're bummed because you grew up in St. Louis, and, and we are huge Blues fans growing up. And, you know, L.A., I'm, I mean, the Kings have a chance, like, Seriously, like they're a great team and it's a great nucleus of the team playing really well. Like you have a chance in L.A. to create a dynasty, I'll say it. And if that gets, you know, sidetracked because of a lockout, that will be horrible. I just think this is death for the NHL. Like you, they, they can't. The first time it. it happened, it like moved to the Home and Garden Network here in, in, in the United States. <laughs> Next, I think you'll only be able to watch like I'm watch online. it on like an iPhone 5. Like right. that's the only place you can With watch a crappy the charger. Yeah. Right. And you'll need an app for it. You'll need right. an app to watch the NHL. <laughs> so Gary like, Bettman is not well. Like, you've probably seen when he hands out the Stanley But does Cup anyone here. even know who he is Yeah, does, does anyone Bettman. know Gary Bettman? Gary sure. Bettman. We Gary Bettman is easy. We know him. He's a terrible guy. And like, For, I would say this. In Canada, the casual person who's not even necessarily into hockey would know who Gary Bettman is. Correct. Here in the United States, not everyone does. But if you know sports, you know him. And you kind of are like, who the hell is this clown? He's Why a clown. is he doing this? Like, what are you what, doing? Like, that? at this point, like, that league and every, it should you not should be giving out pucks to people on the street. Like, but, you need to get more people involved. But even with the Kings Cup win, how visible are the Kings in the city of Los Angeles? You got they're USC, not, you got the not. Dodgers. It's, 
No, no, they're not. They're not. I mean, they're, yeah. they're not. It's a, Brandon and I were saying here, like on the radio here, we said, I think they're going to have to win two, maybe three <laughs> for them to become like a huge – a huge thing in Los Angeles. In order for people to really know, when, when Gretzky came down and they made the cup, like Gretzky was big enough to galvanize people to go to hockey games. Now, by the way, there is a loyal fan base that packs, that fills that stadium. That fills Staples Center, but L.A. is a city of millions, and filling a 19,000-seat arena is not a, not a difficult thing in this city. Well, I, saw, I saw the Scorpions in concert, and they filled that place. So, but here's the problem. The There's, There's one guy like probably uh, over and over and over. Over and over again. Oh, winds have changed, dude. Seriously? Oh, that's you know, true. Right? I guess Klaus Mein can't whistle in front of 18,000 oh. people. Yeah, let's hear it. Oh, that's a good whistle. That's a good whistle. <laughs> There's one guy hoping the Kings don't form a dynasty because then he's not going to be the biggest celeb there, Cuba Gooding Jr. Is it Cuba or Cuba? Uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. Is, isn't he doing, like, just gay cruises from here on? <laughs> I think he is. That's it's Gay it. Cruise 7, Golden Taint. That's, that's, golden that gold. taint. that's right. Three Golden <laughs> Taints for everyone on the Lido deck. <laughs> Oh, by the way, you're listening to the Jay and Dan podcast brought to you by Mark's Perfectly Pressed Pants. No, it's shirts. You keep saying oh, pants. Crap. I always get a sponsor on. <laughs> when, Cuba, when Cuba Gooding comes around, they press the pants. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can still go to Cuba from Canada. Like, <laughs> yes, we can. I'm going to Cuba yeah. next week. By the way, Jay and I have both been to Cuba against the law, against, our, <laughs> against our will, That's against true. George W. Bush's wishes. At the and time. we went down there, and amazing trip. Like, so cool. And meanwhile, it was, like, such a great and exotic place. It's only 90 miles off the coast of Florida. Meanwhile, people in Canada are like, hey, you want to go somewhere cheap? Go to Cuba. Yeah, yeah I mean, pop on down there, get some cigars. That's Maybe Batman will be down there giving out free pots. You, you have to wear an adult diaper, yeah, though, you because could have, uh, you get you guys have pants. explosive diarrhea when you went you to do. Cuba? Yeah, yeah that's. That's what they say. Like that's a bad thing. No. <laughs> like yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, some people like it. <laughs> yeah. How many? How many? What the puck articles have come out in Canada? Like, how it's crazy a, is Don Cherry? How crazy is Don Cherry? You know what's funny, guys? He, he is silent right now. I mean, he's if if what? he doesn't have his platform right because there's no games. If he doesn't have that Saturday night platform, he's not going to do a podcast. He's not going to do a radio show. He's hanging out in his basement in Mississauga with Hazel McCallion, making sweet yeah. love to the 92 year old mayor of that city. Oh, uh, I know. Do you, and do you think he does it in the giant red furry hat? Oh yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think he oh, talks yeah. to the hat and gets answers. I think he's getting answers from the hat, guys. Matching Gitch. Uh, and by the way, do they say Gitch or Gaunch in the United States? That's what we call no. it, underwear. I don't know. Is that what it's called? Yeah. I just know that Don Cherry owns suits that are uglier than NBA draft day suits. Yeah. Which, there are people who are, like, from the Ukraine who are getting drafted in the NBA who are like, dude, why don't you just get some class? Craig you know Sager it, is, like, a very subtle dresser compared yeah, to Craig Sager is. Right. Sager would say, Don Cherry, you got to tone it down. Right, exactly. <laughs> Jerry D., how are you, buddy? Am I on? You're Am on. I it's, good to, <laughs> it's good to have you on, buddy. How are you? Are you in is Cuba this, with Dan? Is this the post leaf game, Doc? <laughs> it's Louis from Woodbridge. <laughs> oh, come on What's now. What's up? How are that's you? A, that's a reference that our national audience won't understand. Oh, uh, okay. I'm good. How are you guys? Good, Mr. D. Entering the podcast world, good for you. We have Rod Smith here as well, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. Rod, you're the best voice in sports ever. Oh, that's very kind, Jerry. Thank you. Yeah, the top ten. It's always got to be you. Get those other people off it. Thank you. Yeah. Just, yeah, trying, like, just Jerry, trying to you stay remember when we talked to you, we were going to start a podcast like ten years ago. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, you finally made it. I'm glad you... I'm glad it worked out. You're not even proud to do it. We've got a great agent, Jerry. I heard. I'm that, I'm that's that an agent. That's the first thing he said. This is going to take a few years. I get a text, I get a text from Dan. Jerry, is this a good deal? Should I do this? I'm like, Dan, why are you asking me? I don't have a podcast. I said, thank you very much. So I did one, two, you know, it's, later. Um, Having Jerry, uh, having Jerry on the podcast might benefit me tonight here in Cuba because um, I don't know if I'm Jerry here. knows, but uh, Mrs. O'Toole has a big crush on Jerry D. So when I oh. tell her that I was on a podcast with Jerry D., I might get some uh, angry some sex. She's not you might get some eyes. angry sex. She's angry sex. Eyes, <laughs> I wish I was a swinger. I'm not. Well, there's no time like the present to learn. No, that's uh, funny because where my wife's from, there's a Tim Hortons. It's a small little town, and it's used for swingers. 
How do you know and this, you don't Jerry? Even know because it's local knowledge, and you go in and you just order a coffee, and it's people think you're there. It's part of it. <laughs> weird. Wait, Jer- wait, wait, wait. Jerry, you've got to tell us. Ontario? Brooklyn? What's that? Is she from Brooklyn, Ontario? No, is the <laughs> one there too? <laughs> no, she yes, slick face. And that's what they say. They say there's uh, the Swingers Tim Hortons. Don't go to that one because that's Swingers <laughs> Tim Hortons. <laughs> double double means a whole different thing in that one. <laughs> so does the drive-thru, I guess. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, you can edit. Rod stepped uh, over the we're, line. We're, we're editing this out, right? No, no, it's Didn't all staying out. Everything's staying out. You can say whatever you want on a podcast, right? That's right. You can say <laughs> We can say whatever we want. <laughs> okay, like George Carlin, seven words you can't say on Sports Center. That's right. Yeah. Jerry, no, uh, no, we had a, Jay and I had a unique, um, a unique uh, scenario. Well, it's not a unique scenario. It was a unique experience with Jerry. Um, Jerry actually drove Jay and I because I guess we didn't have our own mode of transportation yeah. to, to the Tim Horton in, Swingers uh, Peterborough, location. Ontario. Yep. <laughs> and on the way there, we got a sneak peek at Mr. D. You That's showed true. us on our iP- on your iPad. Did I? And we were uh, we were in stitches, so we got to see it before it became a huge hit. Yeah, but I'll tell you a funny story. I get home, I get, so I remember that. I get home about four months later, and I'm my four year old daughter's playing with my iPad, and there's just seven pictures of Jay, like that he took of himself, <laughs> taking sticking his phone. I'm like, what the f- is this? Just my. B- I'm just going to say, were, were any of them... Jason's the, sitting in the front seat taking pictures of himself with an yeah. iPad. I was going to say, were any, of them, were any of them of his face? No, I'll, I'll, text, I'll text it to Dan. Next time I sing you a song, Dan, I'll text it. Did you? So every time I call you, a picture of my comes up on your phone? Every time. <laughs> but it's one ball. They don't know that? Oh, uh, well, that's... that's oh, well. I'm not a proud man. <clears throat> Um, no, that's that was I get I get a uh, voice uh, I get a voicemail message from Jerry at least <laughs> once or twice a month, where I don't know how you have to teach me how to you send this because he doesn't call he'll send a voice recorded message and it's him singing to the radio for a minute. Oh, and that's don't it. you have the last one? You never replied to the last one. It was a good one. Because my wife wanted him to listen to it like ten times, and then oh. she takes the bed, play it right now. The phone into the bedroom jealous, and closes Rod. the door. <laughs> He's starting to get jealous. Yeah, we should meet. I mean, talk. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what you do. You just Tim Hortons again. Yeah, you meet up at that Tim Hortons. <laughs> Everything will happen naturally there. <laughs> Angry sex. <laughs> Oh, that was you having fun trip. on the podcast? Yeah, I, 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 I just thought we were coming in to talk some sports. And, yeah. <laughs> to get the real story about butt chugging, uh, we're calling in our senior, TSN senior butt chugging expert, uh, Aaron Ward. <laughs> Wardo, how are you, buddy? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Well, we're great. We're, uh, we're fascinated by this story uh, about this, this young man. <laughs> Let's qualify this. Let's qualify this. Okay, let's hear it. The reason we know about butt chugging is the lockout has reduced me to having to scour the Internet for something interesting to read. And, oh. and this, this is what I've been reduced to. I've been reduced to a school in Tennessee, that being the University of Tennessee, and the, you got to see it on the Internet. Like yeah, the, basically. The yeah, they had hired. Looks like it came right off, out of out of Andy Griffith's show, right out of Mayberry. Well, what <laughs> happened was, so we'll explain it. Last week, a University of Tennessee fraternity member was hospitalized after he butt chugged wine, and then they had to do a press conference. They hired a lawyer, and all his frat <laughs> brothers were standing around him wearing sunglasses and suits. It was just <laughs> priceless. And that he was be- my favorite. Did you, did you see the number of guys that would not show their eyes? Oh I yeah, mean, they, especially in the South. I mean, I'm, I live in the South. I live in Carolina, but Tennessee is a whole different breed. Can you imagine the proud parents going, "That's my son. He played that fraternity, and I said it was great. I came down for Parents Weekend. It was awesome. We butt chugged, <laughs> but we were supposed to keep that a secret." <laughs> <laughs> 
Seriously, like the ten, they, if you have no more prim proper people than the people in the South, and there they are, the guys in their suits and their sunglasses, just pierced lips, trying to trying to. They, if they could disfigure themselves in the moment, they would have. Yeah, they probably would have. And this, and the the other thing I loved about this whole thing is that uh, the kid who was hospitalized for butt chugging the wine was very adamant that he made clear that he wasn't gay. This wasn't a gay act. <laughs> Nobody even asked him that question, but he wanted to make sure everyone knew that. Oh. And, and, the lawyer, and the lawyer they chose is the perfect guy to deliver the, and he's not guy. Well, Just for the record, he's not guy. Well, speaking of that, uh, Wardo, we have uh, the attorney uh, for the young man in the case. Uh, we have uh, a, a clip from him here. Let's take a listen. Mr. Uh, Broughton, Broughton and it's, it is Broughton, not Broughton. It's Broughton, Scotch. <laughs> uh, what? Denies each and every allegation whatsoever that has been inferred that he may be a gay man. <laughs> he is a straight man, and he thinks that the idea and the concept of butt chugging is absolutely repulsive. First off, you know you're in trouble when your lawyer doesn't know your name. <laughs> Wait, better yet, better yet, that looks like a skinny Wilford Brimley. If yes. you see him on video, that is Wilford Brimley, Weight Watchers. Right? That's, yeah, that's right, that's Wilford Brimley after Slim Fast. I, yes. Actually, that's Wilford Brimley after butt vomiting. And then we have, uh, we have the young man, Mr. Broughton or Broughton, uh, talk, they ask him if he wasn't butt chugging la that night. What exactly what he was he doing? What was he doing? Xander, can you clarify what did happen that day? It's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Hey, I'd love to tell you, but I don't have time. <laughs> Even though I called yeah. you here for this press conference and there are all these cameras around, I can't I can't explain it. But just know I'm not gay. It, it was quite and, a night. And I was hospitalized. I was hospitalized. <laughs> Is, I mean, if you're going to butt chug something, wine does not seem like the appropriate thing to butt chug. No, you go light beer at least, don't you? Really, I go, I go, I go hard, hard liquor. Just get it done. Yeah, just tequila. <laughs> why, why, why mess around? Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, essentially, I, I got to tell you, and this is going to be maybe a, uh, an indictment on my sick sense of humor. Butt chugging in a bathroom has to be. You talked about rear end vomiting. It's got to be a whole lot cleaner than mouth vomiting because you've already got it pretty much sealed off. Yeah, I guess you maybe do. All I know is that tequila might burn that rectum. Yeah. Oh! Wow, this thing's flying along. It's, it's like we barely put any effort into it. It's true. Like the, <laughs> like the rest of our podcasts. <laughs> the Rolling Stones, their new album's a best of, right? The Grr? Yeah, grr. Why are you asking that? Just, just curious? Or? No, because they put a new song on it. Oh, right, right. I see what you're saying. Uh, so, yeah, that's so kind of what we're doing I wonder if they here. mailed those in, just said, yeah, let's just give them something. They're either. like 90 years old. They, they can barely play. How much money do they need? Hey, the, it's not so much the money. It's like, what else are they going to do? Sit around and play with their b That's reference number four, I believe. Um, I guess, yeah. It, it's like when a hockey player retires, you're like, yeah, I got to sit with the family? Yeah, Ugh. no fun. You don't like doing that with your family. Yes, I do. Oh, I mean, yeah, you love it. You're always hanging out. Love grocery shopping. Yes. Could you figure out the grocery stores a bit better? What do you mean? Uh, nothing's in the right place. I can't <laughs> what are you find... talking about? The aisles are clearly marked. No, they aren't. Everything I need is not listed. Are you in, like, bizarro <laughs> grocery land? Where do you go to shop for groceries? The hardware store? <laughs> the milk is beside the chili. The ice cream is next to the what? yogurt. Are you shopping in like a post-apocalyptic <laughs> grocery store that's been hit by an atomic bomb or something? You never know. This, this, the Mayans. The Mayans. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know, producer Tim makes uh, an appearance on each and every one of our podcasts with a not so popular segment called Story Time with Producer Tim. Did was he there from episode one? I don't think so. I think we brought him in around two or three. Also, oh, when uh, when they talk about this and then they list it on IMDb, he'll appear in episode three. Yeah. So that's where we introduce a new character. That's right. I and, see how uh, it works. Yeah, we're going actually back to his first ever story. Oh, this is my favorite one of all time because I think I fell off my chair. No chance of that happening here because I'm standing. Let's have a listen. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Uh, 
uh, wow. That was terrifying. That was damn frightening. <laughs> That was really good. I liked it. Okay, so story time with producer Tim. Uh, Tim is uh, first going to uh, tell a story about us on the show. We don't. We haven't heard this yet. This is the first time we've heard this. So let's let's get a. Uh, and you're going to finally hear producer Tim's voice. Here we go. I do watch The Big Bang Theory. I enjoy it because I'm kind of a geek, and it reminds me of Onright. <sighs> Favorite character is Penny. I think the reasons for that are pretty obvious. Onright is Sheldon. O'Toole is Leonard. Uh, I guess I'm Raj. Wait, can we go back to the beginning of that? <laughs> there was a moan or something. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. <laughs> I could listen to that. Now, we just need that and Rod Smith reading Justin Bieber tweets, and we don't even have to show up for the podcast. <laughs> so, obviously, uh, Mike Gentili and Kristoff, our uh, producers, operators, have, have modulated Tim's voice slightly. <laughs> but uh, do we have a little more of that? Is that it? That's it. That's, That's it. it for this week. Can we hear one more time? Yeah, can we hear, hear one that. more time, Chris? Hear that again. I do watch The Big Bang Theory. I enjoy it because I'm kind of a geek, and it reminds me of Onright. <laughs> Favorite character is Penny. I think <laughs> the reasons for that are pretty obvious. Onright is Sheldon. O'Toole is Leonard. Uh, I guess I'm Raj. <laughs> you know what that voice sounds like? It sounds a little bit like the uh, self-help guru Tony Robbins. It does a little. I, I want to understand... Um, I'll have to listen to it without the modulation. What that moan came from? What the? Uh... <laughs> That's his voice. That's the breathing. It is. Yeah, Christoph said that. It's okay. his breath. Oh, wow. So when we talk about how Tim breathes in our ear every night, you know what it sounds like? This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Try working with that in your ear, folks. I, I didn't know he was a big, big, big bang theory fan. A big, big, big bang theory fan. He he is kind of a geek, but then again, so am I. So, uh, I'm not. Uh, I guess I'm Raj. He is Raj. So what's Raj? What's Raj's? He's characteristics? one of the characters on that. See, I don't know that show. I just know that everyone thinks I look like Sheldon. That's all I know. Tim was all a flutter the other night. A flutter? A a titter? He was <laughs> up. <laughs> His nipples were erect. He was because they were showing. There was a scene on one of the TVs in the newsroom, and the blonde girl was in a laundromat with another girl. And he said, "Oh yeah, this uh, this scene." <sighs> <laughs> it's a cat fight scene. Mike is telling us our producer. So, uh, yeah, he I. I don't want to be in the same room as him if he's watching that at home. I'll say this, though. I think story time with producer Tim is going to be probably the biggest podcast hit ever. A pretty, he's going to have his own, his own podcast pretty soon. Yeah. The, they said it was like pulling teeth, though, to get 10 seconds out of him. Yeah. He, uh, he came back into the newsroom after, you know, Christoph and Mike were talking to him. He's like, oh, I didn't know. I thought I was, oh, was going to be sitting down with you guys. I didn't he wanted me to just tell a story and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess that sums it up. Well not sure we gained any listeners over the course of this one, but for the holidays, who's listening to the best of podcast anyway? I think a lot of people. People oh, yeah, are yeah. sick of their families, yeah. right? Nobody wants to talk to grandpa. By Boxing Day, Grandpa. like, could you put some new shows on the TV? The I'm, TV. I'm sick of all the 50s animation. Something. Give me something. What about uh, World Juniors on TSN? World Juniors really early, but I think they're going to be replaying the games, correct? Yeah, I think around noonish or something like that. And uh, go to MolsonCanadian.ca and sign up for a, a wake-up call. Toolsy and I could call you, wake you up for the World Junior Games in the middle of the night. That's right, and... Um, we recorded those, and they're very entertaining. Um, they're very loud. Uh, we jolt you out of bed. We don't gently caress you and rub your neck. I guess you wouldn't rub someone's neck to wake them. Rub, who are you? What's wrong with you? Wake up. <laughs> wake up. Why are you rubbing my neck? 
What is wrong with you? Like, your poor wife. She's probably like, get out of here. Um, I'm going to be, uh, what are you going to do during the holidays? I have no one, and I'm going to be by myself. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy some booze you gave me. I'm going to have some, some Sailor Jerry's oh. and Coke. I might have one after this podcast. We do have another show to do, but it won't really affect it. No. So, I love uh, Sailor Jerry's. Well, happy holidays. Happy New Year. I guess, uh, yeah, our next podcast will be in 2013. Who knew we'd ever make it there? The Mayans certainly didn't think we would. Uh, so thanks for listening. Thanks yeah. a lot for all your feedback. Um, you make us laugh a lot on Twitter, and uh, and a lot of you like when um, I read your tweets in my head, in my internet voice, <laughs> in my Twitter voice, which I do because it says in brackets usually after in Dan's <laughs> Twitter voice, and I do it. So would and we like read re- all your tweets. Would you like to read something in your Twitter voice right now? No, no. Why don't you read uh, something from the Sabolski and Company rundown from TSN 1050? Oh, what happened on this show? Oh, they talked a lot about the Mayans. Last minute Christmas shopping. Do it in your Twitter how to voice. impress your woman for under twenty bucks. Um, let's see here. I'll try to find something uh, irritating. I can't. I can't do it. There's got to be something. Ooh, let's do. <laughs> now I'm doing like the Californians. Yeah, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> uh, that was good. Wow, that was terrible. You just let everyone down. Um, oh, 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 I did get a tweet the other day that I can, I would, okay. did upset me. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I can't believe how much O'Toole doesn't know. I don't even know. I, I didn't he... understand that tweet. Did it mean, because it said, I can't believe how much O'Toole doesn't know, and then it had my name. So I thought, it doesn't know about me? I don't or just know. just doesn't know in general. But our last podcast, they're referring to the one where we had the uh, Foxworthy and Gord Miller on, and I wasn't really stumped by anything. Harry, the president of Marks. Oh, I slipped those jeans on that he gave me. They were, they fit like a glove. Fit right over your belly. They fit perfect. And your nuts. They stretch well. How's your hat? I love it. It's so warm, cozy. I wear it all over Chinatown. People think it's a... It's food, and they try to eat my hat. On that note, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye! They're going home! Dance. 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 Keep dancing. This is the Jay and Dan Podcast.